Remember when they hated, didn't think we make it Now they break their neck just to look at me Remember when I called you and you didn't fall through Now you hit yourself, you can't look at me, look at me yeah. You made me And what up, what up, what up? What's good with y'all? Alright, so what are we getting into today? Today we're about to be just chilling at the house and we're gonna be working on the Fox Body. You guys know that I'm sponsored by NRG. NRG sent me over some seats uh, a while ago. I uh, got the brackets and everything for them, so I'm probably gonna be throwing those in today. And I also may possibly get the quick release in. NRG sent over a whole setup, so I uh, kind of want to just start getting all the stuff that NRG sent over into the Fox Body today. Uh, hopefully, these mounts that we have, um, hopefully they don't sit hella high. They might need some adjustments. Uh, the, the mounts that Aaron have are kind of similar to these, and with the seats that he has, the mount sits up pretty, or, or the seat sits up pretty high. So, hopefully. With the bucket seat, I might not have that issue. I think Black Aaron's supposed to be sliding through and chilling with us today. So he should be here in a little bit, but let me start moving stuff around, getting tools and stuff that we may possibly need, and then let's just get cracking, man. sit here and warm up for a little bit. Ooh, these LRB door panels though. All right, so I got a hell of stuff in here too that I need to clean out. Probably put all this stuff in the, in the shed in the back or something real fast. Just got that driver's seat out now. Uh, the only little dilemma is right here looks like where the floor was repaired at I'm gonna have to get a, a bolt to go underneath there probably in the future when I get ready to get the cage put in this thing I'm probably gonna have the bolt welded in from the bottom so put a nice nice stud in there and have have somebody weld that thing in there that way I don't have to be fighting with this thing to get a bolt in there but uh, everything else seems to be intact the floor is a little ripped right here once I get the subframe connectors again I'm gonna have have this fixed other than that, there's no major, major floor rips. Fox bodies are known for that. In and in the back, the panel just be ripped out hella bad. Like Aaron's car, his his rear pan was ripped out hella bad. So I think he still needs to get that addressed. But luckily for me, this car basically sat most of its life and didn't really get dogged out other than it just aging and weathering. But let's go in here and grab these seats. These are the NRG brackets that I'm about to be using right here. Bracket quality looks fantastic. And that's how pretty much in there like that. All the holes line up. Only thing I wish is I really wish they would have instead of making this like an L right here, they kind of would have just made it flat to fit in here. That way you can get the seat down lower. That's my my only kind of like eh. That I wish would have happened was being able to get the seat down lower. Plus, when you have bucket seats, you already can make the adjustments on where you sit with the seat um, by where it mounts on the on the side mount. So if you want the tilt it, you can do it there. So I really wish this was just lower for us tall people. Since I am tall, I'm six, you know, six two. Uh, a lot of times that if I don't have sliders on my seat, I end up sitting too close. So I am gonna have to put the sliders on here, which is gonna raise this thing up even higher. But I really, really, really wish this would have been flatted. This will Aaron pull up to my house slapping. So what I'll probably do in the future is probably have this cut right here and reweld it just to sit it on here. Cause I, I know for sure I'm, I, I need a little lower. What's up, blood? <laughs> you got a cast. <laughs> What's up, dude? It's cracking, blood. Yeah, got that thing. Oh. No, it's ready to gap you. Ooh. Where you at, man? Line yeah. them up. Line them up. <laughs> Line them up. What's cracking? What you waiting for? We gonna put this to work. Yeah, I'm about to put these seats in finally. Oh yeah, okay, okay. 
So these are the NRG jammies we're gonna throw in. I've been so hesitant on throwing these in here, man. I've been thinking about putting these in the in the 300ZX. I wanted to put them in the FD, but they don't fit. They would look sick in the FD. Yeah, I was just about to say that. <laughs> but I think the color combo I'm going for on this car, these seats are gonna match it up perfect. Plus it'll give it a little a little JDM touch to the to the domestic side of this thing. First thing I need to do is I need to get these sliders mounted on here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Children of all, of ages. all ages. It's the mother, mother, Eric take over. Chicka, chicka. <laughs> <laughs> what we got going here? Oh, we got them sliders. Got them sliders. Yep. I'm now, these on the seat first. Make sure you figure them out because you <laughs> seen I was struggling. Got going, Brody. So he's about to lower this, lower this bracket. I think this is probably as low as I can get it before. Just gonna hit a, uh, hit like the little bolt that go through for the, the slider. Oh, Front's already maxed out, but you can see right here, this gap is gonna be an extra inch and a half, two inches on top <laughs> of how high we gonna sit. So I'm gonna need to make some adjustments to that, to that, uh, that bracket. Me wearing your camera, man. No, absolutely not. Man, that's messed up. I don't even like you. That's crazy what I tell y'all. And you got a broken arm, worthless right now. <laughs> check we me, getting, hey, check if me we, out. If we just so happen to be out getting jumped somewhere, you couldn't even do Man, that. Man, have you felt this? It's a knockout palm right here. <laughs> Get a nigga with a cast. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> hey, with a straight ashy hand. <laughs> Alright, so we got the sliders on this thing. Now it's time to get these made up to the bracket, and then in the car. So these bolts are too long. Put it right up in here. If you look from right here, once this thing's going to slide back, it's going to hit this nut right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this off, but before you cut a bolt, always put the nut on there first. That way when you go to unthread it, it cleans your threads back up. I ain't got no, I don't know where my safety glass is at. So I gotta use this. I'd rather look stupid than get hit in the eye with some shit. I was in the middle of shortening up those bolts. The other two are good that I did, but this one we can't cut through because the freaking cutoff wheel decided to take a crap. And Aaron has all my cutoff wheels from where at the shop, so waiting for him to come through right now and drop one off. Hey, you ain't even heard this thing yet, huh? Nah. I shouldn't even let you hear it. I should just <laughs> wait till it's time remember, to run you and then pull up on you like, oh, remember, oh, remember, oh, remember, oh, video, remember the video, y'all said don't start it up because I was coming. Yeah, we didn't start it up because we didn't, feel me? We didn't need you to know what you was up against. But now you feel me? It ain't like you can do nothing about it regardless if you hear it or not. <laughs> Still gonna get gapped. The chomp chomp. Problems, bruh. You don't want problems, problems. Uh. <laughs> Our new cutoff wheel on there and we got the other two bolts cut so let's get these things on and finally get this seat mounted in here sliders everything everything all mounted up ready to go in here oh my god she gonna be hella high up let's see how far it goes back though oh we good it goes back pretty pretty far if i can get this lower right here Set this down more, this will be perfect for me. It would be perfecto. That's how high mine's sitting up in the front. But I'm gonna throw the I'm gonna throw the quick release on here. So with the quick release, a deep uh, deep dish wheel, 
it'll give me these uh, like more leg room right here. It'll push the steering wheel out right here, and then I'll be back. So I'll have the leg clearance. My biggest problem with this was the, the leg clearance. My damn thighs is right here. Same issue that the 300ZX has. Like since the, the column doesn't adjust, you run into leg issues, but I think this is gonna be cool. For these right here, these actually go all the way through. So I'm gonna put a, a nut on the back of this just for good measure too. Even though it's bolting through the floor, I'm gonna put one on there also. Let's see how we fit in this thing. Oh! Hella high up. Like, like I'm back hella far. I can't reach the pedal. We go back so far. <laughs> Close the door. I'm hella high up. <laughs> so fool, wanna race? What's up, fuck you? <laughs> nah, if I if I didn't have the if I didn't have the sliders on, it would sit a bit lower. All right, so on this one, we didn't put the sliders. I just want to see how close these two are gonna be lined up without the sliders on there. Because if I can get away with not having to run the sliders, then I'm gonna take the sliders off and... Bro, these look like the same. About the same, huh? Mm-hmm. Same distance. Same distance. Yep. This one's sitting a lot lower, too. All right, so this is my seating position right here. And this seat has no sliders on it. So this is the max it can go back. And I think this would actually work if I took the sliders off of there. That way I can sit a little bit lower and I can get that all the way over close to the trans tunnel. So if you see this seat, we push it all the way over, slid it, got it right there, the trans tunnel, whereas this one has a big gap. And then look right here, you can see the door clearance is a lot better. Go on this side and it's super close. So definitely gonna take the sliders off and move this thing all the way over. I think it's just, just enough to where I'd be comfortable being uh, at 6'2". So. Keep that in mind for people that are, if you're about 6'4", you probably wouldn't like the seating position, but at 6'2", I think this is gonna be perfect because with the sliders on there, I go way further back than I'd even need to. So we're gonna pull this back out, take the sliders off, throw it back in and see how the seating position is. Green, tell Aaron, get out get out the seat so you can see it. No, you get your ass out the seat. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this is, now this is perfect. Now I'm smack dead in the center. We got that. Pushed all the way as close as we could to the trans tunnel. I saw when they first came, remember? But yeah, now I'm actually sitting lower without the rail. So anybody that's six foot, at least six, two, six, three, you don't need the sliders. You can get away with this, just uh, mounting them far back and all the way over to the right as possible. And it sits perfect. This is perfect seating position for me. Tell them, you they gotta slide it to the- You gotta slide it to the right. Mm -hmm. Passenger side, gotta slide it to the left. But yeah, this is perfect. Perfect height. And then with the other steering wheel, this is gonna be this is gonna be like exactly where I need. Perfect seating position. Hit the gas pedal, clutch kick, grab it. What? I'm gonna be driving. You <laughs> not with them knees, you ain't gonna be driving. Woo! I like these seats. Man, I feel like I'm wasting them putting in this bucket ass car right now, but <laughs> once this thing is all cleaned up, it'll be these seats will go in. You you know the vision for it already. Uh -huh. I do need to get in here and scrub this dash, or I might just hit up uh LMR and get a get a reman dash. You know the black one. Uh, I should buy some carpet too, man. I'm kind of tempted to buy carpet. Should get the black center council and just trim it to fit the hydro and just really make this thing clean. I don't know. I gotta figure it out, but I gotta address this interior a little more. Well, a lot more. <laughs> a lot more. All right, so that's it. Both seats in. Looking mighty spiffy if I might say so myself. We're also in there. Nice and sturdy. Ooh. Mm -hmm.